Hi guys, this is Damon and this is my little one. And my name's Dia. I'm sure that you guys are having a very good time today and uh, we are so excited to share our samosa recipe. And this samosa recipe we did for Diwali, the festival of light which is coming. It's great, simple, you try at home and it's so yummy. Don't forget if you want to try more Indian food, go to India Q by Didi's Kitchen, 234 High Street Q. And this is our little restaurant we run. Uh, it's amazing Indian food. Come down uh, and let us know how this samosa recipe goes in your kitchen. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Some salt, we have got some of a join, a join, we've got some potatoes, um, the mashed, yeah, some mashed potatoes, yeah, and we've got some peas. Okay, uh, I'll go through the spices yeah. there. Is that okay? Yeah, so we have some <laughs> seeds, yeah, some cumin seeds, mm -hmm. some garam masala, yeah, you can see, yeah, garam masala, yeah. masala. Yeah. we've got some coriander seeds, yeah, Baby, that's it. Okay. We have, we have ginger paste, yep. some garlic, mm -hmm. chili, yep. a bit of salt. You know what this one? So good. So good. This man. Oh, it smells so good. And that's as for me that that's a kind of it's good, a very very nice aroma in there. Yeah. Okay. And also there we got a bit of yogurt. What I did. I, I peeled some fresh coriander. Okay. Where we got from our garden. Yeah. And some mint. So we're gonna make some nice chutney. Okay. And mix it up the yogurt. All right. All right. This is for the filling. All right. Then we're gonna roll this one up mm -hmm. and fry okay. them yep. and serve with the sauce. And then make them to shapes. Okay. So now it's time to make our dough. Okay, yeah. So what we need to do uh, when we're making a dough, first thing. Uh, you have to see the flour. Okay, so all the impurities we will go in. So you push here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so next thing we go, we've got a pinch of salt. Yeah, not all. Just a little bit more. A little more. Okay, that's good. So all the dry ingredients. Let's add wine. A little bit more. Yeah, good. Okay, now mix them up. Oh, ooh. and this is the fun part to do with kids. Okay, so we, what we got here, we got some ghee, yeah. it's a clarified butter, or you can even use some oil in there. So that works very well. So, so what the ghee will do, or any fat will do, is yes. make it nice and crumbly. Yeah, so what we have to do with the ghee, we have just have to bash it. Yeah, let's get that on the bench. So, we have... so now it's not that um, sticky. Yeah. Okay, good. What we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch it yeah. and knead it a bit more. Yeah. Good. Okay. So we're just making sure everything is incorporated. I'm gonna catch yeah. everything out. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now it should be, you should rest for about 40 minutes. So what happens, all the gluten in there, mm. that will relax. So now it's time to make our filling for our samosas. 
Okay, dear. So uh, I'm going to turn this one on. Okay. Uh, what we've got for some of So we've got a little bit of ghee. You can use oil uh, if you like. Yeah. And then we, we roast all, all this do. dry ingredients yeah. there and then go there. Okay? So you're going to help me, right? Yeah. And now, can you put some ghee in there first? All of it. Yeah, all of it. Thank you. Oh, nice ghee. You like ghee? Yeah. Do you know where the ghee comes from? Where? It's out of the butter. So the beefy. Put the butter mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. yeah? and this clarifies it separates all the water and the fat. And, and Melting all the butter. Okay. So now, can you put some fennel in there? It's fennel? Yep. You pour it all? Oh, all yes. mm -hmm. okay. of it. Now the corn, the round, all of it again. Yep. Yeah. Good. So. And now some cumin. This one? Cumin. The olive. Good. Now we're going to go to our wedding room. Yeah, garlic. Put some ginger. Mm. Good. Mmm. 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 You can use it on the screen here. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Now, you yeah. can put the potatoes in there for me, please. That's yeah. good. Oh, our potatoes we mashed up. Yep, slowly, slowly, slowly. Yep. Now, I'm going to mix this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. What goes next? Our uh, peas. Yep. Yeah. As close to. That's good. You want to stir it? Okay. okay. I'm not so now. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put in the leather. Okay. 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 Yep. Give it all. Okay. 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 And our body. Yeah. Mm. I, if, you, if you have, but if you like some green chili, you can always put some green chili. Mm. Well, we're not putting green chili because we don't want spicy. Ah, uh, you don't want spicy. So that's that's our filling is ready. Yeah. Let's see. So, so our dough should be ready right now. Yeah. So let's go and check it out. Yeah. Like but now that our dough is ready, we're gonna put the filling inside our dough. Okay, yes, yeah, so now I'm going to show you, mm -hmm. and that's the technical part of it, uh, show you how you're going to make a shape, the pyramid shape of samosas, and fill our, right. our filling in there. Okay. So, if we rest it for a while now, let's see how this comes out. Mm -hmm. Okay, take all the things. It's pretty good. soft, yeah? So that's, that's the texture we are looking at right there. So what you will do, yeah. I'm going to roll this one. You've got to roll it in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to put it like that. So I'm going from center, mm -hmm. just like you make a bread, bread roll. Yeah. Okay. Now, Big, bigger size, you can make a cocktail size. Yeah. Cocktail size is a smaller. It depends for what purpose you're using. Okay. Yeah. So now I've got here yeah. Can you just press it like this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Press it. 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 Stuck in my hair. Press it. Yeah, that's Press it. Okay. Now I'm going to put them here. Okay. okay. So we're going to start one at a time. I'm going to. Roll it. You don't actually need a flour because if you've, you've got a key in there, the fat, mm. it should not stick. So what you do. Yeah. You make you roll it oblong side, so like oval shape, yeah. not round, oval shape. Can you can mm -hmm. see. I'm just going a bit more longer than wider. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and make sure that your dough is not too thin and not too thick. Okay. So once it's done, okay. okay. What? And this this should make two pieces of samosas, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So now so I'm going to cut it in half. Cut it in half. Absolutely. Cut yeah. this into half, yeah. and now here the front part comes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Now put on your hand. Yeah. Okay, you can Let me, I'll show you first. Yeah. Okay. Right. Put the water on top. So the, on this side. Yeah. So what happens? The water will stick it. Okay. okay. Now I bring it this one to center. Yeah. Okay. I will turn it around. Yeah. And then give it a bit of press. Yeah. It looks like a pyramid. Uh, pyramid, yes. Yeah. And then your cup. <laughs> Can you see? Like an ice. Uh, yeah, like so, yeah. So now I got a cavity. Yeah. Now I'm going to make sure in. your mixture is cooled down. Yeah. Okay. So now I put a filling. In. filling. And this is our vegetarian filling with the potatoes yeah. and peas. And you can make uh, you can uh, make a meat filling if you like, like a lamb or chicken. And you have to put some water. In yeah, some water. Again. So now what you have to do, mm -hmm. you make a bit of twist up there mm -hmm. at the back. You can see? Mm -hmm. And then the press. Oh, cool. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Look at the press. Yeah. And that's how. So it's a shape. Yeah. yeah, that's a shape. Isn't that shape problem? Yeah. Now I got some flour here. I put the flour. I'll add it. The rest here. Yeah, can I record? Yeah. So, so I put it on. So look, this way. Okay. And, and then we put some water. Water. water there. Now take your hands. Bring it to center. And, and your permission. Yeah, permission. Now you make a cup like this. Hold it. Okay. Like this. Hold oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, that's easy. So can I put my filling in? Yeah, there you go. I put the filling in. Okay. Okay. Now give it more water. I will help you. More water. Yeah. And then excellent. And give it. Press it. This size, so it'll stick. And we put it flat. And that's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Marvin. Yeah. Put it so flat. that's what we're gonna do for the all of our um door. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. Thing all of those. And we're gonna just do this one. So now it's time to fry. Okay, so now it's ready. So what we have to do here, we have to make sure the oil is not very hot. We have to uh, fry that in a medium heat because if, if the oil is hot, what will happen? This will burn or cook. it looks cooked from outside, but yes. actually it will be cold and your pastry won't be so flaky. Mm. So now I'm gonna try it out whether this works. Yeah, so it's really, I'm just, this is a trial, so it's bubbling. Yeah. Okay. I might put a couple of those and very slowly drop it down. So, not dropping on the top, mm -hmm. we're gonna splash all over you. Okay. So now our samosa should be nice and brown texture. Yeah, it's, it's really looking good here. Now let's see, uh, it's starting to get nice golden brown. Okay, I'm going to take this one, just turn it up. So now it's time to make our samosa sauce. Okay, so what we're making samosa sauce, we got some yogurt here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, put some yogurt in there. You want some? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, got some yogurt. Yeah. And some salt. Yeah. It's nice and salt. Yeah. You can mix them up. Yeah. Alright. What I have here is a roasted cumin right. powder. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Good. Good. And that's our cook, fresh coriander and mint. Wow, now we have like a, a good have, size. Yeah, we can make a puree. Yep. Good. So, okay. Block there. Okay. okay. Good. Can't wait to eat it, yeah. Mm. It's raining outside. Yeah. So that one's also has some rice sauce? Yeah, tamarind sauce go away. It's just a sugar yeah. and tamarind. Yeah. Just a bit of reduction. Okay, 
for our garnish. So now it's the most goodest thing we can do in the whole entire world. Taste Now you like this part, don't you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta do the tasting part, okay? Okay, I'll take this one. Which one? This one. This one. This one. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's nice and fluffy. Bit of mint and coriander. Yeah. It reminds me home. My mom used to cook like this. <laughs> How's it? Good. You don't like it? If you like this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up, like this video and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button for the notification and you don't miss any of these YouTube videos. Time to sign off. Bye. Bye.